Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we have incredible agricultural technologies and machines. Before we start, hit the subscribe and like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss our next upload. First up is an automated strawberry harvester from Agrobot. This robot uses various sensors and a robotic arm to automatically pick strawberries based on color and size. Next up we have the Virgo Harvesting Robot from Root AI. Similar to the strawberry picking robot, it chooses based on color and size. After finding a suitable tomato for harvest, other sensors on the robot help it grab and gently place it into the basket below. Next up we have the ACFR RIPA robot, a research project from the University of Sydney. It can run continuously for an entire 24 hours using its solar panels. It's also equipped with a variety of advanced sensors and agricultural equipment. From the University of Sydney yet again is the digital farmhand crop spraying robot. Alternatively, it can also be converted into a seeder. Digital Farmhand also has a data collection robot. This data helps farmers plan out their future spraying, weeding, and seeding. Next up is an interesting product from FarmBot. Their small-scale CNC farming robot allows for the automatic seeding and watering of gardens. It can be set up in as little in an hour and begin farming immediately. It has a simple interface that's quick and easy to learn how to use. Other sensors help it maintain the health of the plants and eliminate weeds. Yet again, coming out of the University of Sydney, is the Swagbot. The Swagbot is an autonomous weed identification and spraying robot. It has a robust build and is equipped with sensors to help it identify any weeds. It also comes with an automated weed spraying unit to then eliminate any of the weeds it does identify. Up next is the automated robot weeder from Eco Robotics. Completely autonomous, it has a variety of onboard equipment including GPS and sensors to help it navigate fields. It is run by solar energy to keep it running for up to 12 hours a day before resting to recharge at night. Using this robot can help reduce total herbicide use by as much as 95%. It does so through micro dosages of herbicides. It's built robust and it's simple to move, configure and of course use. Finally is a case study from QUT University, the AgBot 2. They believe that agricultural production is increasing to meet the growing food demands of a global population. This leads to the necessity of more efficient and sustainable farming practices, which they believe can be achieved through robots such as this one. Research projects like this one pave the future of the agricultural world and forge the way forward for humanity.
Hey guys, thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Put your thoughts down below and if you have any ideas for future videos that you'd like to see. We hope we'll catch you next time.